Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about my current favorites, things that I've been loving lately. All of these are mainly makeup products. Well, they are all makeup products and one skincare product. They're not necessarily like brand new products to the market or anything. They're just things that I think are really, really good products and they're pretty affordable, just like most of my things. I like to bring you all affordable, but yet yeah, really good quality things. Let's go ahead and get started with the favorites. I'm going to go ahead and start with the obvious that you guys have heard me rave about over and over and over. Well, not over and over and over. I think it was just like one video. I don't even know what I'm talking about most of the time. But this is the Essence So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighter. I love this stuff. I, I can't even say enough about it. I said before in the video that I featured this in, I believe it was a Target haul because I did get this from Target for like three or four dollars. And I had said that it's really hard to find a drugstore highlighter for your cheeks that is actually really pretty. They always seem to disappear halfway through the day or they look really dry on your skin. This just looks really dewy. I mean, it is like a cream, so I just put it on my finger and I just run it right here and it looks gorgeous. It's not too much, it's just enough. I feel like it stays throughout the day. It's just beautiful. Like, I think this is an outstanding product. I honestly have not ever heard anyone talk about this. Um, like I said, I got this at Target. I don't think all Targets carry Essence, but some Targets do, but Ulta does, and maybe Walgreens. I don't, I don't know if Walgreens carries it, but I would recommend this stuff. Hands down, this is a really, really good highlighter for $4. Staying kind of like in the same brand, um, I did find one other thing from Essence, and this is the Make Me Brow. And I actually saw this in, like I think it was like a Facebook post, and it was saying like um, drugstore products that you like must have or products that are as good as high-end products. So dupes, if you will. And I had seen this on there, and I'm not sure if my camera is not wanting to focus, um, but I saw this on there, and I was like, that looks a lot like my, hold on, where is it? That looks a lot like my Benefit Gimme Brow, and I love this stuff. However, the Benefit Gimme Brow is like $25 for this tiny amount of product. And I like this so much because it's easy and it's the same color as my brows. It's definitely not too dark. I always have an issue with my brows being too dark. And um, this is what the wand looks like for the Gimme Brow. And here is what the wand looks like for the Essence. They are pretty much identical. And this is in the color Blondy Brows. I almost said Bloody Brows. That's disgusting. <laughs> in the color blondie brows and then this is in the color one so this is the um lightest color that they have and this is just a tiny bit lighter than this one doesn't matter to me it's still light enough um oddly enough i have one i think this one is on this eyebrow and this one is on this eyebrow because i was trying to see if i could tell a difference can't tell a difference guys this is three dollars this is $25, and so far, okay, so I've had it on a majority of the day. It is now the afternoon. I put this on this morning, and it's still exactly the same. It did not, it did not fade. It has not come off. It's just as good as the Benefit Gimme Brow, but it's $3. I think it's safe to say that I have found a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow. I don't like to throw the term dupe around loosely. I don't want to discount Benefit's awesome product by any means. Um, the only thing that I did find different was the color and that this formula may be just a slightly bit wetter, but it really didn't matter on the application. My eyebrows look almost ex like, not almost, they do look exactly the same and they have both stayed that way. So there's like no difference between the two. Um, I know that there's like a couple, I'm not sure, I know there's at least one darker color. I wanna say there's probably a few other colors in this. I just got the lightest because I'm super white. Look at me. Enough rambling about one product. If you have thought about trying this out, if you like this product already, I don't know. Guys, this is $3. 
I'm sorry Benefit, but I am done paying $25 for this tiny little bottle. The next product I am going to talk about is this Cody Airspun powder. And I know that this is like hugely talked about on YouTube and I honestly never tried it because it looks like grandma-ish. I just, I see the packaging and I'm like, that looks like it's been around for a long time. Probably not that good of a product. But I started hearing more and more about it and I was like, okay, pull my leg, it's $6. There was like a little puff right here. Then I was like, oh gosh, the puff. Like, it just reminded me of like being at my great grandma's house or something. And speaking of great grandma's house, the smell is like, being at your grandma's house or your great grandma's house and like looking at her perfumes and like makeup and stuff like that. I, it just smells like your great grandma's house or something, which is not a bad thing. It really brings back a lot of memories, but I was like, eh, I don't know. I hope that I don't smell like an old lady all day long. And guys, this is good stuff. I was like, oh, okay when I put this on so I just use like this little I don't even know what kind of brush this is some cheap powder brush probably it's a really good brush but um, I will just kind of tap this into the container like that and then I will this is actually way too much product but let's see here just the tiniest tiniest amount to like set your foundation I used to use the Rimmel stay matte powder right here but and there's nothing wrong with this but I feel like this air spun powder really like makes your face feel so soft and look soft. It's almost like an airbrush finish. So I just dip it, um, dip my brush into it like that. And then just kind of, I don't really want to put it on right now because I've had plenty. I'll put it on my chin. But um, it's just, it sinks into your skin really nice and makes it look really smooth. I haven't had any issues with breaking out with it or anything like that. And once you apply it, you can't, you can't smell the smell anymore. Um, mine is in the naturally neutral shade. I really like this stuff. I have been using this on the daily, um, just like the lightest amount. I feel like this amount of powder would last me like years and years because I use the smallest minute amount. I don't really like to look powdery or cakey. It's just enough to just kind of, you know, lightly dust on your face to make you look very airbrushed looking. So this is good stuff. Once again, $6. Can't go wrong with that. I'm really loving different eyeshadows lately and I think we probably all know that I am super obsessed with the L'Oreal 24 Infallible. Um, eyeshadows and these are not a new product in fact a lot of times I've seen them on sale because I don't know if they're discontinuing them if they're bringing out new colors because that would be awesome but um, this one is my absolute favorite this is amber brush and it's actually what I have on today so this is what it looks like guys this is like the most gorgeous gorgeous eyeshadow I have ever put on I wear it so much it is so shimmery, so beautiful, but it's not glittery. I also have Iced Latte, and um, I'll swatch this one for you. This one is just as gorgeous. There's Iced Latte, and I also have Eternal Sunshine, which is kind of like a gold. Um, and this one, actually, the issue with this one is that it, like, cracked not cracked, but like it literally turned into a powder where the other two are solid and this makes it really difficult to get the product out. So I'm kind of upset about that, but um, it is still a beautiful color. It's this gold one down here at the bottom. So those are beautiful on your lid. My favorite is the Amber Rush, but like all of them are just gorgeous and they wear really well too. They don't fade throughout the day. Like I will get home at the end of, well, I will go to take my makeup off at the end of the day and it still looks just as beautiful. So this is what I have on today. This is the L'Oreal Pop Balm and the color is Tender Mauve. Tender Mauve. And I picked this up at Target because it was on clearance as well. I don't remember how much, but I want to say it was like $2.98 or $3 something. And all these mauve colors are really intriguing to me. I always want mauve colors. So I picked this up and um, guys, this is so good. Now, I know I say this about a lot of lip colors. I promise I don't talk this highly about all of my lip colors. I don't even show you the ones that I don't like. 
Um, but this is so good because it's like a very pigmented balm. Now, I've mentioned before that I just am not a fan of like really high maintenance lipsticks. And by high maintenance, I mean like you have to reapply them to get some more color. They start to um, almost like peel or I don't even know what you call it, like flake in the middle and it just looks nasty. And you don't even know what's happening until someone's like, um, you got some on your lips right there. Anyways, this is so good. I want some more. I didn't realize how awesome I was gonna like it because if I did, now not all the colors were on sale. This one just happened to be on sale. I don't know why, but it's so smooth. It feels so good on your lips. Like it's marketed as a balm. It feels like a balm, but it looks like a lipstick. And it's the perfect color to wear every day. I will wear this every day. It just feels good. It's one of those colors that you don't have to like have a, a lip liner with. You don't even have to look in the mirror when you put it on. It's absolutely gorgeous. I will swatch it for you. I don't even know what I'm doing. So this is what it looks like right here. Now you can see when I turn my hand right there, you can see how it's kind of balmy because it's kind of glossy. But the color payoff is just gorgeous for a balm. It has great wear, like staying power and it's easy to just like throw in your purse. I'm all about the low maintenance lip gloss these days. Okay, and one more thing that I have been loving. Now this is a skincare product. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. I only have this in the little, it's not really a sample. This would be a really big sample. I think it's just probably the smallest size that they have. I got mine at TJ Maxx because um, Tiffany D was raving about this. She still raves about it. Tiffany D, by the way, is my favorite, my absolute favorite YouTuber, and I will link her below because she de deserves to be followed by the whole wide world. I picked up this because of her recommendation. I do not have a moisturizer still that I love, so I tried this one out. I have been loving it. It makes your skin feel like velvet. It just Oh, it feels so good. The only issue that I have with it is that it does, it is very heavily scented. And it, it smells clean. If you've ever smelled Clinique products, it smells like a Clinique product. But it smells clean with a hint of grandma's perfume. Like I said about the other stuff, the smell doesn't linger on your face. It's just that, that initial when you put it on, it's like, whoa. So I do like this. I can live, you know, I can live with the smell for just a couple minutes while it's like settling into my face, but it makes your skin feel so smooth. I have not broken out. It just, it feels really good and clean. So this was great, especially if you can find it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or somewhere like that. It was um, pretty inexpensive when I saw it. I was like, oh my goodness, Tiffany D talked about this. I have to have it. So I, I am really impressed with this and I think it's a good moisturizer if you have normal to dry skin. If you have oily skin, I would stay away from this because the moisture on it is very intense, but I lean towards the dry side of my skin type. So if you've got dry skin, especially in the winter, this is a great option for you. Okay, now I quickly wanna mention um, a product that I cannot stand. I was really disappointed in it. I just don't like it. So it is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush, and we all know that the Butter Bronzer is probably the best drugstore bronzer out there. So I was like, why wouldn't the Butter Blush be just as good? Everybody raves about the Butter Bronzer. It's such a good product. I'm gonna try out this one. <laughs> it was so bad. You look at the color in the box or in the store, it looked a little peachy, not too pink. Like it doesn't look like it has a lot of pink, but when I opened it up, I was like, are you sure this is a blush? It looks like a powder or a highlighter. Like there is no pink to that. Like this is marketed as a blush. Let me show you another blush in comparison, just in case you're wondering. Milani baked blush, butter blush. Do you see that that's pink and this is like white? I just don't know what they were thinking. It's just, it, it, it's called natural glow. Okay, that's the color, natural glow. However, however, it says it's a blush. This does not have, it looks like a highlighter, honestly. It should be marketed as a highlighter because that's what it looks like. So 
I think this was like at least $10. I know that Physician's Formula is on the higher end of the drugstore spectrum when it comes to prices, and I wanna say this was at least $10 probably more than that. I'm just so disappointed in it. I thought it was going to be really good, a really pretty natural color, but when I put it on my cheeks, you couldn't even see it. Couldn't even see it. Don't buy the butter blush. Even though the name sounds so creamy, don't do it. Okay guys, so that is my favorite products that I'm loving lately. I don't want to um, limit it to a month. I don't want to say those were the January favorites or December favorites or whatnot. I'm just showing you the products that I'm currently loving lately, things that I think are really worth the money. All this stuff is really affordable because you know I'm gonna be bringing you the affordable things. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all are having a wonderful week. Um, I know that I say thank you for watching every time at the end of my videos, but I really mean it. Each and every one of you who watch my videos just makes my day and every time you comment, I get a little notification and it makes me so happy every time I see that you guys are watching my videos and commenting. So thank you so much. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Ooh, look at that. And do subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys all in Friday's video. Bye. 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 Bye guys.